yo what is going on guys today's video is going to be a pretty insane video guys it's been the long way to xenoverse 3 wasteless video and 16 things i want to see in a xenoverse 3 now guys this video is a hope is my hope to maybe get some intention on xenoverse 3 because not many people are talking about it at the moment so i want to make sure we can get this conversation stirring and actually get it out there so um yeah this video is gonna be insane I'm just gonna be covering about pretty much everything I wanna see in a Xenoverse 3, everything they can improve on and things that they should add. So I hope you guys do enjoy. Now remember guys, this video, it took me, like I said guys, this is before, I just wanna to talk to you guys beforehand before the video, cause right now the video is finished, but I just wanna record this, let you guys know this, that this video did take some time to make. So I do appreciate if you guys can hit that like button because if you guys do, it'll share the video around, somebody big will watch it, maybe Bandai might watch it. You never really know guys at the end of the day, if we can hit the like button, if we can just get there, I'm asking as a personal favor just to get this video out there so we can possibly get somewhat of a confirmation on a Xenoverse 3. Not confirmation, but let's see who we can track towards this video. Also, guys, I want to know if you guys can make a video just like this as well, where you guys make a video called Z Things a Xenoverse 3 Needs or whatever you want to call it, then ha put a hashtag a Xenoverse 3 Challenge. Meaning that it'll be a challenge of you just talking about what you want to see in a Xenoverse 3 what changes you want to see what you would love to see like maps characters uh online features stuff like that i really want to know uh and i'll be watching the videos as well so on my description i'm going to put a xenoverse 3 challenge on mine so you guys can see that uh, on the top of the description so make sure you can put that you can put that in in your description when you make these videos let's see you let's see how many of you guys will do it at the end of the day, guys, I want to see your guys' thoughts on uh, Xenoverse 3, what you guys think about it, what your initial, like, you know, what you'd want to see in the game. I want to see, a, oh, I just want to see a mount stuff. I just want to, whenever I click that hashtag, I want to see a few videos. So, like I said, I hope this video can encourage some of you guys to make the video on Xenoverse 3, like, talking about what you would love to see and just general, and your general thoughts around Xenoverse 3, whether you want it or not. Me, personally, in this video, I'm going to be, I'm going to be going to 16 things that I want to see in a Xenoverse 3 and just my wish list overall. But, um, yeah. Remember guys, if you can hit the like button, I'm, be I'm gonna be saying that a lot in this video, reason why I just wanna make sure you guys know that uh, if you hit the like button, it'll possibly, and actually and definitely will share the video around, it'll get attention that it needs. And also, it'll possibly give us a somewhat of a hope towards Xenoverse 3, for all I know. Some hope, I'm hoping. Um, but yeah, either way, also guys, if you do enjoy the channel and you enjoy this video and you enjoy stuff on my channel, like Dragon Ball content, all stuff I do, please do consider hitting the subscribe button and join this amazing community. I'm trying to hit 200 subs by the end of the month, and uh, let's see if we hit that goal. Either way, guys, uh, let the video start. I'll see you guys in the end. Peace, guys. Hey, what is going on, guys? Today's video, we're going to be talking about Xenoverse 3 and 16 things that are going to be in, or 16 things that I want to see in Xenoverse 3. I'm going to be going off my wish list, pretty much. And, guys, if you guys could, if you want to see Xenoverse 3, please do hit that like button, because, again, guys, the like button will help out a lot, and it shows that you guys want to see Xenoverse 3. Now, guys, back to what we're talking about. Now, guys, the first thing that I'm going to be getting into is going to be stages. Number one, I want to see more stages implemented into Xenoverse 3. I want to see stages from Super Dragon Ball Heroes. I want to see stages from, uh, you know, like, uh, when I say stages, I want to see stages that were used in Dragon Ball Super. Like, if you guys remember that one stage, I believe it was when Goku was fighting uh, those... I forgot the wolves. They were like wolves, pretty much. He was fighting them. Gohan, uh, Majin Buu, or F Majin Buu. They were all fighting them. They both, all three of them had to fight. And uh, it was pretty much a stage of the like, it was a stage and all the gods that were watching them. I want to see that stage implemented. I actually have a screenshot right here to show you guys what it could look like. And because at the end of the day, this is one thing that we need in Xenoverse 3. We need to have more diverse stages, more stages to play around with. Because guys, at the end of the day, stages are a big part of the game. Now, because you don't know, a lot of people, when you choose a stage to fight on, you just choose it because it has, a, it has that aesthetic. You and your friends can be on that stage. Just either you know the, the layout of that stage. And plus, guys, it's just, I don't know, in my, in, in my offense, I believe when you have a really sick stage, it just... It makes the whole mood right when you're fighting on that stage with friends. And it gives a lot more, uh, like, you know, options. Because, guys, at the end of the day, a Xenoverse 2, it's... If, if we're going to be honest, it's only gotten in total... Out of the DLC packs, it only got three new stages. And uh, that one was the Nameless Planet. Which, again, was an awesome stage. I actually love that stage. Uh, and then the second one was the Trunks' timeline feature. Like, the, the Ruined City, that one. And then third one that we got that was brand new, that which again was a tournament power stage. Now guys, the tournament power stage, 
there's been mods and variations of it that people have made and in my opinion which are good and i actually like the tournament power stage of Yagata's universe too it was actually really good as well now if you guys have seen ultra pack one and two they didn't come with stages they didn't come with any new and it kind of it sucked man honestly i was wishing we'd probably get a brand new stage uh you guys already know my thoughts on ultra pack one and two i made videos on them talking about them what i thought about that and the fact that how they were lacking content they were pretty much dead those dlcs were the, if not the worst dlcs except for super saiyan god vegeta but it just showed that you know even if they price at seven dollars it just that's not the content the game needed the game to and this is we're talking about xenoverse 2 to keep the game i guess going is add like little content like that like brand new stages if you're not going to add a new story arc which again i don't believe they were ever going to but if they are now guys if they are going to add a stage i want them in xenoverse 3 to really try their hardest to actually see and make these stages where they go off from movie stages stuff from non because guys xenoverse is a non-canon game it does not follow the canon it has to be something that's insane because honestly at the end of the day we know they can do it they've done this before they can use stuff from movie areas they can use if you guys remember broly's planet that planet was dope i don't understand why the hell they don't think of this shit and guys at the end of the day these stages should not be hard to think of they have so many ideas so many things to go off of it just makes no sense to me why they can't do it they have the broly they have they basically made a, a brand new planet vegeta but basically that's broly's home where you fought the first broly the you know the non-canon broly there's even places in Super Dragon Ball Heroes. There's like new little cities, stuff like that. Jiren's World, like uh, universe, like I, I, it would be insane if they had it where, what was the Tournament of Power? That stage, that could have been, or no, actually that was my bad, my bad, that was actually added in. But they could add in so many things that could be insane to the Dragon Ball, to Xenoverse 3. It would wow a lot of people if they actually tried the hardest in my opinion but i mean at the end of the day all we hope for is that someone out there in bandai can see this video guys remember to hit the like button because again the like button will help out a lot now guys i want to know down below at this point being if you guys can comment down what would be your favorite stages what would you want to see in a xenoverse 3 like what stages do you want to see i want to really know uh what your guys thoughts are on the stages like what do you guys think does xenoverse 3 like need new stages do you want them just you know have the same old stages from xenoverse 2 and then add maybe one or two three new stages and that's it me personally i want fully new stages and then have from have the stages the same ones from as xenoverse 2 as well and then ha at the end of the day have extra stages that are like brand new like maybe like 10 plus more new stages that would work out perfectly fine because at the end of the day modders are making brand new stages that are 10 times more better than half the shit that bandai makes and honestly it's just kind of at the end of the day i want to make sure that when this if this game does come out whenever it comes out that there is not a point where they have to add dlc over and over again where they have to add these stages when they should have been added in from the game from day one there's no reason there's no excuse for them not to add these stages and then make us pay for these stages when they should have been added to the game i just hope that this is not the philosophy they're following it's not the way their mindset is working because if it is then to be honest bandai should not be developing in xenoverse 3 bandai should fucking be developing something else and atari should develop a new uh, arena fighters but at the end of the day i just hope that xenoverse 3 has that care towards the stages and then the level design and how they look i just really do hope and i hope they have some dynamic stages with some with some cool dynamics to them honestly that would be pretty insane to see and it'd be a game changer for xenoverse in my opinion now guys, the final part of the stage talk is the last thing I want to talk about stage-wise is a stage builder. Now guys, this would be an amazing thing that Xenoverse could add in. What it gives, it gives us the freedom to build stage. As you guys see in the screenshot, this is a modder who made this. And it's pretty much a nameless planet. And uh, pretty much he took, uh, what is it? The World Martial Arts Tournament and he put on the nameless planet. And uh, you can see he, he did some little changes here and there. And guys, I think this this would open a lot of doors for people who have these ideas, who aren't modders, but they can have their own. Uh, if you're on console, you can make your own stages, meaning you could put them out there and people online, they could try them out. They could vote on the stages, show their you know gratitude towards their stages. It would be like a mod, but not really. It's for people that don't have PCs, but are on console. So, you know, that whole meme that Slow Play is talking about, how can I download console mods on my fucking con <laughs> How can I console mods? How can I download PC mods on my console? Won't be a thing as much i guess you can say i guess this would be a good feature for people who want to build stages who have their creative mindset you know that can actually do that 
Uh, as you guys see this modder kind of add like a little bit it's not like i said it's not a big thing but it just shows you what it could be like you know you could add the world tournament stage or the world martial arts tournament you could add in the nameless planet you could add a few cities in the background you can have the dragon balls floating and there you really don't know like i said it's up to you and that's why i would love to see this just this general idea of brand new stages of us giving a chance to make our own stages this would be an amazing idea and i hope we can at least get something like this in the future maybe through an update or if it doesn't come as universe 3 day one i hope we can get it as an update and i hope you guys do actually think this is a good idea if you guys do let me know down below if you guys thought this is a really good idea as stage builder now guys we're going on to our next topic yo what is going on guys now we're getting on to our next topic is a bigger character roster now guys if you don't know xenoverse 3 this is my big thing that i want a xenoverse 3 to have it's something i know a lot of people would love to see in a xenoverse 3 is it is a character roster to be a huge now guys when i say huge i don't mean just add where they add pretty much every character that we got from xenoverse 2 and then add to xenoverse 3 and now you gotta wait and get more ones no what i mean at this point when we have a big character roster is like this now guys, we've pretty much seen a new, a whole shit ton of brand new characters in Super. We've seen all the characters in GT, if you guys have watched GT. If you've been a Dragon Ball fan, you know there's a good, there's a good shit ton of characters that have been in the Dragon Ball games. Now guys, a Xenoverse, what it did was, there was characters in the game, or there was DLCs that put characters in the games that should have already been in the game. Like, Debura, PyCon, or no, no, what the fuck? We haven't even got PyCon yet, look at, guys, oh my god. I want to say this right now. I want to get my. I want to vent out my pain. Bandai added Rebrian, the most randomest fucking character we could have asked for ever. And actually, no one asked for her. No one did. And we didn't get Pike, dude. It has been, I think, four plus years now since a Xenoverse Two had came out, and we still haven't got PyCon yet. What the fuck, dude? This makes me think like there was so much shit they could have done. And you would think, like, you know what? PyCon should have been in the game at this point. He should have been in the game. We could have had in it. And, you know, it would have been amazing. But, no. What ends up happening is they don't have it where PyCon's in the game. We get all these other characters that are DLC. Which, again, to me, I don't think they should be a DLC. I don't think Deborah. I don't think... What's his name? Uh, I don't think Debura and a few other characters like Mo like guys like a buhan I why the fuck was he a dlc character when he should have been in the game like guys this is a shit i don't understand like these are characters they added in as dls as dlc and again it just wasn't something i agreed with i didn't think that was a good idea on bandai to do that because at the end of the day these characters should have been in the game from day one we know about these characters again, guys, at the end of the day as you can see we got like i can understand why android 21 and you can see like you know super saiyan blue gogeta you could see uh why those characters would be included as dlc it just doesn't make sense why tapion and a few other characters that like you know they shouldn't be dlc like uh super baby i, I don't think because again xenoverse is a game where we go back to these timelines and it doesn't make sense to me why these timelines again the storyline that xenoverse takes place it still does the base it still goes through the base uh storyline with dragon ball z which doesn't make sense why we had to wait for some of these characters and why some of these characters are dlc characters which uh, it just at the end of the day bro i, I didn't understand it i just kind of thought that was a little shady on band for doing that i didn't really like that i personally thought that was dumb you know we got a cool few updates here and there from a xenoverse which is awesome now again guys i don't want to discredit any other stuff that xenoverse has added with these latest like ultra packs they did add free updates which are awesome the hero coliseum the photo mode and a few other things that i did love that they added and again it's awesome they did that but right now i'm talking about these characters some of these characters are useless i didn't really like the characters they were giving out again ultra pack 2 it included two vegetas Again, the only character, the only uh, thing that I loved about Ultra Pack 1 was Super Saiyan God Vegeta. I didn't really care for Rebrian. I did not care for, like, the Super Saiyan Evolution Vegeta. I, I, I've said this before. That could have been in Transformation for Super Saiyan God Vegeta, which, like, it just doesn't make sense why Bandit doesn't think of this. They don't have to add that third character just to get it. You know, I guess, I guess to give the value for the DLC, that doesn't make any sense. The DLC was $7.99, as is, we weren't going to get a brand new map, of course, because knowing bandai they're never gonna do they're never gonna give us a brand new map if they do it'll happen here and there but it's not happening we're already done with updates for xenoverse as it is right now and i'm happy xenoverse 2 is not getting any more updates because to be honest i'd rather have it where we just kind of move on to xenoverse 3 and you might be asking like yo how the hell are we gonna be able to choose characters if you're trying to get all these characters in the game that guys again budokai tenkaichi 3 had a, a had a total of 150 or 140 characters 
Like, do you understand how many characters that game had and and as universe two in total? I believe now, since you if you include all the DLC, it's in total like maybe 30, 40 in total. Which again, bro, like it just doesn't like if and and most of those characters are just either reskins or I, I guess you could say yes, a Super Saiyan Evolution Vegeta is legit a Vegeta, but which could have been in the I guess like I, I guess you could say um how do you call it the. I guess it like a variation. It could have been the variation care, uh, with category, which didn't make sense either. So again, dude, I don't know what to say at this point. And here's how it could work. Like I said, guys, I would love a system, and I want a brand new system to choose our characters as well. This is connecting with the full character roster, a bigger character roster. Now, guys, a lot of people ask, how would this work? How do we have our character roster work a lot more better? How would I be able to choose, you know, my character throughout all these? Like, if I if we have a large character roster, now, guys. The way is universe or we've seen as universe one two we've seen both those character rosters not as universe one there was that character roster which again it was base it still worked and it was fine and then we we moved on and we evolved to as universe two which again it did some adjustments but really nothing different and now Xenoverse 3, I guess I would love to see them take a lot, take some stuff from, you know, Budokai Tenkaichi 3. Like I said, guys, to this day, a lot of people are modding the game still. And as they're modding the shit into there, they're adding these new characters and they're adding like little pictures in the background to match the characters. It just shows that a Xenoverse 3 could do the same thing. They don't have to fully copy this rendition or just full on art style of the characters. They can always have a different background, but this would make sense a lot more, in my opinion. I think it'll be easier for us to choose characters. It'll make choosing which specific goku we want kid goku team go team goku like we'll get to see all these type of variations of goku and again i would love to see characters marching around i would love to see just other types of characters added into the game like a lot of the characters added from from but like i said this video is going to consist of me talking a lot about Budokai tenkaichi 3 and just what i would love to see from that game return or just a few features they can borrow from that game to improve on and just to make Xenoverse 3 better, in my opinion. I think having a bigger roster makes, one, if you're a content creator who loves making Xenoverse 3 videos, this will be a one plus for you as well, because you'll be able to play with multiple characters, multiple movesets, multiple videos, either trolling videos, funny videos, just doing whatever you want. I know C-Reacts is going to be having a good time with this, because again, I know his box of battles are, it, it, it are one of his like biggest things on his channel. Look, at the end of the day... It, it's a win-win for all of us if we have more characters to play around with and not wait for DLCs to drop them. I would respect it because, like, like I said, if they are going to drop DLCs in Xenoverse 3, I guess you could say maybe some super characters. Because, again, you know, fuck it. If they don't want to add a whole ton of super characters in Xenoverse 3, that's perfectly fine, But which would make no sense why they wouldn't do because super is already over. Now, the characters I could see as, you know, as okay as DLCs, Moro is maybe Kamba, like some super Dragon Ball hero characters a few stuff like that that would be perfectly fun because i would see those you know what that is new not that many people know about these characters so it would make sense for that to be a dlc but again i don't want to see it where if we get a xenoverse 3 and the roster is small as fuck and the only characters that they added new were all the new characters that we got from a xenoverse 2 dlc which would be bullshit in my opinion i would not like that so i hope we get a bigger roster and a better way to just you know i guess customize our characters or at least choose our characters a better uh, i guess choose a character choosing feature i would say a much more better uh or character select a much more better character character select for a xenoverse 3 because again in my opinion that would make sense a lot more and that'd be a lot more better so i do hope we get that in the future and now guys we're moving on to our next point now guys our next thing that i want to talk about is an original story that's something i would love to see in a xenoverse 3 now guys the story is something that i've always wanted to see i guess more I guess more touched on, I guess you could say, because the Xenoverse is such a the Xenoverse story that is a template, like I said, the layout is, is that it's a it's a what if series. You know, it's gonna still far it's gonna still follow the main DBZ line, but it's gonna change a few things. It's gonna say Radix got more power, Radix is not dead, or you know, they're gonna revive a few characters, they might use a few characters like Xenoverse 2's template was this. It was a little bit more different, I guess you could say, and they added a few new things. Uh they explored a few new stories that we didn't really explore in a Xenoverse 1, which again was cool. And then they added, I think they, they added Turtles, and they added, I can't remember the dude, the, he's a, he's in the Mechian dude, I can't, or Lord Slug, I guess, it's been a while since I've even seen these characters, but Lord Slug and Turtles, Toa and Mira, they're all going through, and they use Bardock, well, I guess you can say the Bardock from Super Dragon Ball Heroes, which again, see guys, this is what I would love to see added into Dragon Ball Xenoverse 3 as an original story, but instead of doing stuff like that, where it could be different, where the next main character, it could be an actual main, it doesn't really, where it, it will reflect on Toa and Mira, where, you know, 
they'll be there but Tower and Mira what they're gonna be doing is they're gonna be helping out this main villain the main villain could always be Goku Black could be to could be Mora Moro and it, or it could be even Kanba I can't really say his name right he's pretty uh, the Broly look like from Super Dragon Ball Heroes it could be that guy or they all of them could be working together and in a way I guess you could say a lot of people I would love for them to explore a lot of stuff from Super Dragon Ball Heroes and put that into you know the story as universe 3 because again guys that adds those little touches those at that little bit of content that creativity that gives the fans either whether the story is not like I said none of this is canon which it doesn't matter it doesn't need to be canon it's an original story if a Dragon Ball game can break that formula where one Xenoverse broke it somewhat but it just started, it just did a few things different it wasn't really something groundbreaking but again it just makes it it's like this if a Xenoverse 3 would have a story where it's an original story where it's like Nappa and uh what's called Radix they're both revived and they're both pretty much storing everything like and they and they know how to go Super Saiyan. I think we would all want to see what the hell Nappa would look like if he went Super Saiyan 3. Like, let's be honest now. Like, what the fuck would Nappa look like if he went Super Saiyan? Like, you know, at the end of the day, we want to see that. And we want to see Radix and stuff. Like, that would be cool stuff that is not canon. And that would be added into the game. That, in my opinion, would be an awesome feature, an awesome story that I would love to see. Or if not that, like I said, I, like I said, my favorite character from Super is Goku Black. I'm a big fan of Goku Black. Uh, like I said, just his whole aura, just the way he is, his transformation in Super Saiyan Rose, it just, all of it is, if not my favorite. So I would love for them to touch on this. And it could make sense. It's a Xenoverse 3. It doesn't really have to follow anything else. Moro and Goku Black, they could both be working together. That'd be a good story, in my opinion, for them to really explore and go around with. I don't see anything wrong with that. Again, guys, if we could, guys, before I go on to my next point, is if you guys hit that like button, guys, remember hitting in that like button will help out a lot because it shares the video around and it just shows me you guys enjoying the video and also guys i want to know what what main character would you want to see as a main villain for xenoverse 3 what would your main character be um in my opinion i could see goku black and moro going into it that would be a good story or if not moro you know I, I would love for them to add just goku black as a main villain just him coming back and then having his own origin story where pretty much he's going around and he's doing it different it's not really going around the dbz timeline it's now going around the super timeline but it's just adding a few more events that we didn't really see in the super era stuff that will be surprise us stuff from super dragon ball heroes where goku black is going in that timeline now where he's fusing with zamasu and you know again it just would make sense to me if they did something like that it would be insane i think the fan base of xenoverse would love that also guys Another thing that I do want to hope that uh, they do is when they add this new story is that, again, it, it just has a lot of variety to it. It has a lot of characters like, you know, it has multiple, but the villains I want to see is, like I said, Goku Black, Moro, and I would love to see, like I said, the Broly look like Kamba. I can't say his name, but that's the way I could say it, the evil saying. You know, it would make sense in my opinion if they did it like that. It would make a lot of people happy and make me happy. And um, I just think that, that would be an amazing feature to add into Dragon Ball Xenoverse 3. It'd make it a lot more fun, in my opinion. But yeah, guys, uh, now we're moving on to our next topic. Now, guys, our next topic is a new online game modes. If you guys don't know, Xenoverse pretty much is like, it's pretty much online based, mostly, the most of it. Mostly, in my opinion, Xenoverse is online based, and that's pretty much what it is. And again, I'm not saying that it could be just exclusive only online. It'll be for free or offline as well. But these new online modes I would love to see in integrated into Xenoverse 3 would be team battles. And like, guys, if you don't know what team battles are, that, that is something that was from Budokai Tenkai G3. Like I said, guys, I'm using a lot of shit from Budokai games. Uh, but if you guys don't know, it was a really sick mode. So guys, you guys can see the screenshot behind. It was, you would choose a team and then you're... And after you choose this team, you would have it where you either you play. It was mainly two player. What I play with my friends, you could also play with bots as well. Uh, they'd have their own team where they choose people and you choose your own team. You would have a choice. That I believe it was like five people. You could choose or four people. Um, actually, it is five. But you could choose about five people and you could fight through that. And you all fight until you have one character less or whoever has the last character. And you have to pretty much beat that character to get to get pretty much the win. And guys, in my opinion, this game mode was, if not my favorite game mode in Budokai Tenkai 3. It was the funnest game mode, in my opinion, because I had a lot of fun playing against my sister or my brother. At the end of the day, it was something I loved and I enjoyed. And I always wanted to see this integrated into Xenoverse 3, but it never happened. Uh, it, or Xenoverse 2, I should say. 
Now guys, this, there's actually a mode similar to Team Battles. It already is in Xenoverse. It's called 3v3, 2v2. You could do the same thing like that. But I would, what I want to see, I want to, I want to see an extension. I want to see 5v5 modes like that into the game. I think that'd be cool. But instead of these little modes where you're fighting, I want to see a few little like different things added in somewhere. You're doing this certain objective where when you're playing these modes, certain things can happen. Like certain characters will come into the mode where you know out of nowhere it could be certain bosses and one you're still fighting that one online player but now there's a person that wants to fight both you and it, it would be a it'd be an insane twist it's like a how do i say like it's like an expert mission i guess you can say an expert mission modes like that like you know an online expert mission where one you can be battling your friend and then like all these type of i guess you say events will be going on in the background that'd be a cool little new mode i'd love to see into I guess integrated into Xenoverse 3, like stuff like that would be awesome. And honestly, I just hope that they do that. I hope they add a few little new touches to the online mode. Just like a few more, I guess, online modes that would really make sense. I, I guess Endless Battle is cool, but guys, I mean, Endless Battle, it's just, I'm not saying it, it's like, it, it's it's good, but it's dead at the moment. And as Xenoverse 2, nobody really plays Endless Battle. So I'd want them to, I, I, that, it would be awesome if they added some more variety to that. So again, I hope they add more stuff to that. And just overall, just, you know, help the, I guess the whole, of a Xenoverse 3 have better modes in my opinion. I guess it just, I hope that brand new variety and just new stuff added in there for the online. Now guys, this has been something I've been wanting for a while now is a co-op story mode. Now this is something that we have needed Overall, in my opinion, I think a co-op story mode would do wonders for fucking a Xenoverse 3. I think it would do an amazing thing for mainly all the people that play Xenoverse. I think it's something, it's like a little mode that you could play, or just a little thing you could play with your friend to pass time off, or someone who has trouble with the story. Because guys, like I said, a Xenoverse has these parts where... Now, I know a lot of you will remember from Xenoverse 1, there was this one part where uh, there was like a bunch of little, there was like a tiny little small Majin Buu that kept on popping up over and over again, and we all went through it, we all hated it, and we all kind of wish like man i wish there was a friend with me that could have helped me with this now guys this is something that i would recommend and i would love for them to pretty much add into xenoverse i think that would be an amazing thing for them to add i think we all would have fun with it. a lot of content creators have fun with it i think rhymes tells he reacts all the people that do a xenoverse at the time being burker burkle slow plays i think all of them would have fun with these type of modes i think all of us would have fun with it as a whole because in my opinion I think having a co-op mode it can be something you can play on stream you can pass time with or just have fun with your friends as it is and these co-op modes they can give your friend xp could give them rewards and stuff like that and because it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be the actual story it can always be you know other types of modes like other story dlc stuff like that or it could be actual co-op events that require you and your friends to do some type of story i guess I, in a way it would make sense it would be some type of story aspect in it or just some type of i guess you could say i don't know side quest like i i guess the I guess I could, that, that would work too, but in my opinion, I would love a co-op story because I think it would be cool for all of us just to play with our friends, play with the story, and honestly, I think that would just make it, I think that would make a Xenoverse 3 a lot more fun for a lot of people. I think that would recommend a lot of people to play it, and I think that would just, I that would bring in a whole new crowd of people that love playing co-op games with each other, and just, just having a lot more online stuff to do with the game would be amazing. In my opinion, I would love that. I would love for them to have co-op in there so I can play with my friend. And it could, and like I said, it doesn't have to be a lot of players. It can be, a, it can be up to two people, you and your friend, or it could be three people or four people. That'd be really cool because we saw four-player co-op, and that was mainly for raids. But we would want to see story co-op as well. Because I do hope we, I do hope that Xenoverse Three does have story co-op because again, it's a much needed. Uh, feature that needs to be implemented into Xenoverse 3. I wish Xenoverse 2 had it, but it did not. Uh, there was rumor that Xenoverse 2 was going to have co-op events, but uh, I guess that was the new Crystal Raid stuff they were talking about. But either way, uh, we just need that in Xenoverse 3. I hope it does come out, and uh, yeah, that's just something we need in the game. It would add a lot of variety to it, and I think that would push a lot of people to come into Xenoverse 3 and just come through to the Xenoverse 3 community, or Xenoverse community in my opinion. But yeah, let's move on to our next topic, guys going on guys so for this for this part we're gonna be talking about more transformations for our cacs now guys if you don't know we can transform for our saiyan characters we can transform from super saiyan uh from one to three we can even transform uh what's it called super saiyan blue and we got the free update 
uh, from the last update, it was Super Saiyan Evolution, which again, these transformations are cool, but in a way, I think the transformation people really want is Super Saiyan Rose, uh, Super Saiyan Rage, Super Saiyan 4. There's so many, there's so, so many Saiyan forms that we would love to have in the game, and a Xenoverse 3 could have the potential to show all that off. It's just that it's never really been done right. I guess you say, or Banda just hasn't really considered it, I guess you could say, or, you know, as Xenoverse 2 just never really had the chance to do it. I guess in a way, it would have been better if they did that, because a lot of people, if we have Super Saiyan Rose, I think those transformations, they all have their own ups and downs. They have their own uh, type of, I guess, their own type of scale, whoever, whatever. Like, you know, it'll mean those transformations mainly could be for Saiyan CACs, or if anything, uh, they could do it where, you know, because if you guys don't know, other other CACs, like other like Namekians, uh, Freezer Race, uh, Majin, they can use uh, Kaioken, they can use stuff like that. But I want to see more transformations for like the Majin races, for uh, the C for the Namekian races, for what's it called, the Freezer Race. I want to see some more transformations, stuff like that. You know, what, what else can we do with them? Can they, you know, because again, this game is a what if game and they can pretty much do whatever and see whatever, whatever way it can go. And honestly, I think that would really work out a lot. I think it worked really well uh, with the Xenoverse. At the end of the day, I would just love to see a lot more transformation for Saiyan CACs at the end of the day, because I do believe that's the main one a lot of people choose. I mean, you will create a Freezer race and a Namekian race on the side, but in my opinion, I think the Saiyan race, because the, as a Saiyan race, you have a lot more opportunities to get a lot more transformations. And honestly, in my opinion, I think it works out really well. I believe... Um, yeah, no, I, it, it, Super Saiyan Evolution, it was only exclusive to just saying uh, CACs, which again, like I said, so I hope a Xenoverse 3 has it where we can transform Super Saiyan Rose, we can have Super Saiyan 4, we can even have, uh, yeah, Super Saiyan, uh, what else, there's a few other uh, transformations, but yeah, I would love to see that uh, implemented into the game, honestly, because it would just make sense, oh yeah, Super Saiyan God, uh, and I don't, I don't mean blue, I says Super Saiyan Blue, I mean Super Saiyan God, where, you know, it's a red hair, I want to transform into that, so I do hope we see that as well. But yeah, man, there's a lot of transformation we could see with the Saiyans, and I would love to see for them to really implement that, uh, implement a lot on that, and really just take up whatever they can. And just do, I, I guess you could say, do a really good job with them. Because at the end of the day, I just don't want to have the same uh, transformations and not really do much if they're really the same thing as you know evolution, not really much of a change. I guess if you fight as a Super Saiyan uh, Rose player and you fight against a person who has super saiyan rage that you can see the different play styles you can see the different kind of i guess bouts in the transformations you can see who has more of an advantage or just who knows really like which uh just which transformation is the best i guess you can say and like just see which one can go head to head with uh that transformation i would love to see that man honestly i hope the universe 3 has that because it really does need it um, I think we're kind of lacking in the transformation stuff. It is what it is, but at the end of the day, I just we need more transformations in a Xenoverse three. We need it. That, that is a that is a must. We need that for surely. And uh, I mean, I think that'll, that'll just help out a lot. And a lot of people enjoy that. I think a lot of you guys would too. And um, yeah, man, honestly, I just hope we can see that. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna move on to our next topic, guys. Right, now, uh, now, guys, our next topic is CPU battles and new quests. Now, guys, I'm going to be doing two things in this one little segment. But, yeah, I just want to make sure the video is not too long because it's already going to be really long. But at the end of the day, I just want to get into this. So, guys, the first thing is CPU battles. If you guys don't know, CPU battles... Well, if you've been watching Dragon Ball gaming videos as long as I have for pretty much close to damn near... Yeah, it's maybe eight or seven years or maybe even longer. Uh, you know who Thundershot 6 9 is. You know who uh what his videos were back then actually six years but you know what his videos were back then he was a big person on cpu battles he used to be really big on that he used to get a lot of views on that's how i found his channel uh, i believe on the super saiyan 3 versus goku versus super saiyan 3 vegeta was a video how i found thunder and um yeah from that point I, cpu battles really intrigued me and i really loved it and honestly that's something we need in this universe uh, three in my opinion we did need in his universe too thundershot said he actually told bandai to do it but it never happened so because if you don't know thundershot is actually one of the people when well rhyme star thundershot c reacts all of them they've actually in jaden tastic they've all gone to bandai and i think they talked to bandai about stuff they want to see in his universe and he said he's actually mentioned it to uh you know the xenoverse 2 devs and stuff like that and bandai but nothing's really happening guys that's pretty it's kind of sad to see that nothing really happened because in a way you could kind of tell because thunder was kind of like he was the one who kind of set out a lot of the dragon ball channels if i'm gonna be honest uh it's kind of the it's a truth in my opinion but um 
yeah man just having cpu battles i don't i, I really we really need cpu battles on I, I think that's one of the main things we're missing out on and if we had cpu battles i feel like we would have a lot of fun with it but it could have a it could have a few twists on it where now it, it actually integrates it where you and your friends could have cpus where you know you and your friend or and also there could be single pair cpu as well just having cpu battles in general in the game would be awesome and then having a feature where you know you and your friend could choose characters and you could battle out you don't have to fight as them you could see what character to do this and that just a few little mini games like that would be awesome in dragon ball Universe 3 or just having cpu battles in the single player in general would be awesome as well because honestly i think that would be really cool because as you guys see in the background it says uh cpu versus cpu it says you know the time limit it can be unlimited and the, and the, the, the difficulty of how strong these cpus are you could see you could put out their max difficulty and see which cpu could win so it's a, i guess it's a way you could answer some questions like oh who would win this fight who would win that fight you know it, it would be a little funny it'd be just interesting in my opinion i think a lot of people enjoy that and i hope to see that i really do hope to see that now guys i'm gonna keep this a little bit shorter but in my opinion i want to see brand new quests added into xenoverse 3 i did not like how xenoverse 2 pretty much copy and pasted everything from xenoverse 1 they didn't copy they did add a few new quests i won't i won't say they didn't like i said they added new quests but the mainly new quest that we got was from dlcs and we had to buy dlc just to get new quests so again at the end of the day i don't want to see a xenoverse uh 3 to pretty much copy and paste every quest from a xenoverse 2 and just have it like that as quest because in my opinion that does not that is not fun that sucks because personally i don't like that and it just isn't fun it just it's lazy actually in my opinion because we everyone saw it everyone saw that you know as universe one's quests are all there there were a few new ones here and there we saw that but then that's it there really was no difference like you could tell like i said the main thing people said about xenoverse 2 it was a 2.0 of a xenoverse 1 and i couldn't I, I i agreed with that but at the end of the day it did fix a lot of stuff a xenoverse 1 was lacking in but it, they still took a lot of shit from a xenoverse 1 and put it in a xenoverse 2 acting as if it acting as if it was new when it really wasn't it was the same thing we got from a xenoverse 1 the same old quest and i guess it's, you could say the story was lacking too but the story again was the same shit from a xenoverse 1 it just they changed it up a little bit more different and <laughs> that's pretty much it but at the end of the day i hope they you know change it up a little bit more they give us brand new quests brand new twists it's not those dragon ball where collected dragon balls it could have a little bit more variety to them you know just fun in my opinion i we really need that because i don't know man I, I love playing quests i love grinding for quests uh but the grind for quests at the time being oh this is another thing i'm putting in here too is take rng out the game this is something i've hated for so long now is rng it ruins so many things rng is not fun this is actually a topic i'm going to talk about but i'm putting it in here as well guys because you know i may as well but rng that is an awful thing to have in games i hate random number generated because guys if you don't know when you grind a quest and you can get z on it too you possibly won't get the skill that you want you possibly won't get the clothing item you want or if you do you'll keep getting the same thing you got before like i wanted to get goku black so what's it called outfit i wanted to get his top part of his outfit but i kept getting z and it kept giving me the bottom half like i understand that i already had the bottom half i had so many bottom halves on my dude i don't really need this and after finally like i think it was like the <laughs> i think it was like the eighth time i did it i finally got the like shirt that is not the best way to do it that is bs in my opinion i don't like that and it just wastes a lot of people's time and just people get angry they don't want to grind that much i mean yes the grind is fun but if you're gonna grind for shit that doesn't give you what you want what's the reason and there's no reason to grind this is awful that's an awful gameplay design i don't like rng also there's rng with the trophies as well if you guys don't know there's a trophy where you have to beat and again i hate this quest it's the one where you fight goku black i believe actually wait yeah, it, it is the one where you get his uh i think that's the one you get it but it, it, it's the one it, the last fight is like la where you have to fight uh tapion and trunks and you guys know what i'm talking about that is the worst fight because all they do is spam or just trunks doesn't leave your ass alone at all and your characters the people you uh, that you choose you could do an online is a lot more easier but here's the thing if you get z on that on that mission there's a chance because i remember i got z I took me forever. I, I tried that mission so many times. I finally got Z when I got to the end. I did it perfectly fine. Now, guys, here's the thing. There's a few times where I, I did the mission perfectly fine. I, I finished the last mission with the Z, or I finished it with, you know, a, a really good, like, uh, I guess, say, a really good uh, try. I did everything right. I beat every character a lot more faster. It gave me a B. It would give me an A. And then when I finally got a Z, it didn't pop the trophy. So it shows that this game's random number generator RNG works for trophies as well. And 
I don't want to see that in Xenoverse 3. I would not like to see that. I think that would ruin the game. It won't ruin it, but it just it might like make people not want to go for some of the stuff they want. Quests will be a lot more annoying. And honestly, a lot of people just don't really like playing quests as it is right now. Because even when the new DLCs came out, people wouldn't really be playing the quest as much because they already know how it is, how the quest, how the grind is. You could get it, but like I said, you have to do it a few times. You have to do a few little things, but I just hope that it's less of a grind not like i'm not saying there shouldn't be a grind there should be a grind but there shouldn't be a point where we have to keep doing the quest to the point where it's rng where the rng is fucking us over and we can't really get anything out of it like you know so i hope there's a change that i hope they do fix that and just don't <laughs> i just hope rng is not in the game and we don't need that and just new quests new quests would be amazing uh i hope the new story that they add or whenever xenoverse 3 is announced or whenever xenoverse 3 uh is talked about just whatever it's revolving around i hope it has a brand new quest because that is a must and no more rng we don't need rng that's it's terrible i don't know who likes rng i don't like it so yeah we'll move on to our next topic guys okay so this should be an obvious one better graphics for xenoverse 3 this image that i'm using is from dbz xanto's channel and uh i'm gonna be showing you guys how this graphics mod works uh steve's dodge actually has some gameplay channel i'm only gonna be using a little bit but um shout out to him for actually you know showcasing as well but um yeah man so this graphics mod if you guys don't know xenoverse uh it's been something i've wanted for a long time i kind of had an issue with xenoverse 2's graphics when it first came out i kind of thought they could have done better because you know seeing the ps4 one and the xbox one these are pretty you know i say powerful you know because console at the same time they can run these amazing games but yet a xenoverse looked kind of i guess you could say the same thing as xenoverse one um it kind of looked like it was still crossed in uh, so th that was the excuse we gave as Universe One because you know it is crossed and it was on PS3 through 60 and then that's why I had a little bit of a it was held back from being a little bit more be better looking. But at the end of the day, as you guys can see in the background, the character models are something they worked on the most, and these character models look amazing, man. They look really good. It makes you and, and the levels as well. Look at the levels too. They look amazing, dude. They so much more detail. It just shows that like it just shows modders are doing a lot more better than the actual developers if i'm be honest but it is what it is man i'm just saying that we do need to see a graphical upgrade in as universe 3 because again when the ps5 and xbox series x comes out we have to see it because these consoles are gonna be strong as hell they have all, they have all this power that's not being used and it needs to be used and i hope that as universe 3 again hoping not saying that uh all right yeah hoping actually yeah no it's a it's a guarantee we need to see an upgrade in graphics i don't want to see the same old if anything like at least have the character models have have as much detail as you guys can see in the background right here we just need that detail man same with the levels and the areas that we fight in because i don't know me in my opinion i'm one of those guys who just loves to admire the little things in the game and just like the little like the little environments and the graphics and stuff like that. so again i do hope that we see that implemented into the xenoverse 3 they, they do a really good job with it man because you really need that uh that is a that is a must for us and um yeah i want to know your guys opinion what were your thoughts on a, a xenoverse 2 graphics and just seeing this uh mod you know and what do you expect to see in uh, a xenoverse 3 do you want to see something like this or just what would let me know down below all right guys now this next one it might be a little small little thing for me mainly but i want to see the aura transformation but i want to see a transformation buff for the aura uh, if you guys don't know what that is, as you guys see in the outside of Vegeta, when he's transformation, when he's transformed, you see his little red outline, little shadowing behind him. And I want to see in a Xenoverse where that gets a little more better. If you guys have seen the aura in a Xenoverse or transformations, the aura it doesn't stick around that well. It kind of sticks out here and there. It doesn't Super Saiyan Blue Evolution did a really good job with that. But I want to see a little bit more of an improvement. This is a little little nitpick by me. I think I'm the only one who who wants this. Not really many people really care about it. Me, I do care about it. So again, it's a little small thing I want to add in here. Uh, it's a little short little segment, but I just want to talk about it. We need it. We need a buff for the transformation. Uh, we need to see the aura, you know, just just that. Do you see the outline layer of Vegeta where that's just glowing and stuff like that? We need to see something like that, much more stronger. And I just hope they do that because that'd be awesome, man. That'd be an awesome implementation into the game. It'd make your character look badass. And we all want to make our characters look insane when we're fighting people. So, again, hopefully we'll get that in Xenoverse 3. This is something we, we definitely need. That so again, something small that I really want in the game. I don't know. I think, I think I'm just a little weird with this. I think I wanted this because uh, I just want my character to look badass when I'm just playing with him. Uh, pause. <laughs> pause. Before I say that, 
pause big pause what i meant what, what i meant is when i'm playing with other people okay oh my god it's getting more gayer but what i meant was that i want to when i'm fighting other day when i'm fighting other people i want my aura to be looking a little more cool you know the transformation look a lot more better you know what i'm just gonna stop i'm gonna stop right here yeah you already heard it i need a transformation buff and that's all right it. guys now we're getting to our final two topics a uh, hub world and uh another i'm not really gonna call it a segment but i'm gonna talk about it in the hub world segment um but yeah Pretty much, guys, the hub world. This is a big thing that I wanted to see. As you guys see in the background, this is actually a video I did, a thumbnail, a video I did uh, months ago. It was on a Xenoverse 3 leak. It really wasn't a leak. It was actually for Super Dragon Ball Heroes. Again, it really sucked, but you, you might. it was something that we could have believed. It could have been the hub world. Now, again, I'm not saying this, this can't be the hub world. This could, this, could, this could be something similar to it. But what I would love to see in the hub world is the next Xenoverse 3 hub world. What I would want to see is, like, I would want to see, you know, nostalgic battlegrounds. We could already fly around in New Canton City as it is. We could fly around and go to these places. But when I say, like, nostalgic battlegrounds, I would love to go to places like, you know, the Cell Games, uh, you know, GT, uh, places in the GT Saga and the Super Saga, Beerus' Planet. But again and some cities in goku's house but I, i'm not like but in a xenoverse type of way not the where we could fly like how kakarot is i meant like where you, you know pretty much you could teleport if you guys may, if you know those little teleport boss that you have around new Canton city where we can teleport to a hub world i'd like to see something like that added into the game it makes sense i would actually really like to uh play around with i think that'd be cool just going to these little hub worlds also another thing i want to talk about is i would love to see a little bit more uh, of a a little bit more more of an easier system for our friends to join our lobbies because at the, at the same time it's kind of hard to join for our friends to join our lobbies whenever we're in one uh so i would love to see a little bit more of a easier system for them to get into our lobbies and i would love to see a close friend lobby type of thing as well because that would be cool for like skits parodies just funny moments stuff like that i think that would be cool if they could do something like that where you could just have like, your own lobby up to maybe like 10 people and you can all be in your own hub world just doing whatever um that'd be pretty cool i would love for them to do that as well and uh, yeah, just have an easier way for our friends to join our either our lobbies, either public lobbies or you know our own uh, lobbies. But again, that'd be another the cool thing I'd want to see. Uh, I, if if we were to get a new hub world and we could fly around these areas instead of teleportation or like where we could see them on the map, the little smaller areas you could fly to them. Like if you guys have played Budokai Tenkai Two, there was a thing where in Budokai uh, Three there was a part where you could fly around and find enemies, and it it was like it was pretty small. It wasn't as big, but you could fly around. I would love for them to implement. I think they did that in Ultimate Tank Kaichi as well, too. So, again, I would love to do that where you could fly to these areas. You could fly to Master Roshi's house. You could fly to Vegeta's house, the Capsule Corporation. But in these small little areas, meaning that they're not as far as you think. And where you could find enemies. So, that would be pretty cool for them to add that into the game. I think that would be pretty uh, insane if they took that from a Xenoverse... Uh, not a Xenoverse from Budokai 3 and uh, Budokai Tenkai Hichi 2 if they took those little elements and put them in there. I think that'd be really cool. A lot of people have some nostalgic factors, like little feel nostalgic feels uh, playing that. At the end of the day, I do hope they incorporate this into Xenoverse 3. I hope the hub world is pretty huge. I hope it does have these little factors where we can go to these other places, like these battlegrounds that we fought throughout the DBZ line. I hope we get to see that. And uh, yeah, that's something I'm really do hoping that uh, they add into the game. Just a few, a little bit more diverse with the hub world. Just a few little new things. Or if anything, if you saw that first screenshot I showed you, little Super Dragon Ball Heroes, if it looks like that, I'm okay with that as well. I don't have any issue. As long as we can get a, a system where I can invite my friends a little bit more better than where I have to do with this extra stuff to, for them to join my lobby, that'd be cool too. Or just have closed friend lobbies as well. Another cool factor, I would love to see that implemented into Xenoverse 3. And yeah, man. Uh, we're getting to our last topic, guys. Our last little segment is uh, on to the next one, guys. So we're about to talk about the last one. All right, guys. We are in our final segment, our final topic. Now, the ending of the video um, is release time. We got to cue sad music right now because, boys, we don't really boys, we don't really know when this game's going to come out, the release time. Because at this point, we've been pretty much Xenoverse 3 has been in the dark. Uh, there was a rumor that Xenoverse 3 had got shelved in uh, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot was supposed to come out, which again it ended up being true because because uh, they were talking before we even knew about Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, before we even knew, like a month before it was announced, uh, they were talking about how Dragon Ball Xenoverse 3 got shelved and they were doing an open world Dragon Ball Z game, and what came out was Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, an open world game, which uh, kind of it kind of made you think yeah that was true probably did get shelved but for all you know maybe they were working on the game they probably still are working on the game at the moment it's been maybe what is it four years maybe three years at this point actually it's been three years i would say possibly four years it's close to be it's gonna be four years soon but um yeah man it just shows that like in my prediction when do, uh, here's my final prediction of when is universe three here's when it's gonna get announced it's gonna get announced late 2020 i don't see it getting announced any or if it if anything 
we will probably see it in the summer game fest maybe in june but if anything i'm saying late 2020 and then when i see release time for it when i see it actually releasing is is 2021 is possibly if anything early 2021 to late 2021 around that time is when i see azimuth 3 releasing or even just being a thing around that time um you know i just kind of hope we get the game because we really just man we're in the dark right now we're pretty much vegeta you see this picture this is vegeta right here this video we're we're just really waiting bro we're outside bandai headquarters and shut that fucking waiting out there with our signs and shit saying and fucking bandai being a bunch of clowns and shit staying in their office doing nothing you know it is what it is but we we never know because they probably are you know working on a xenoverse 3 they probably have been working on it for this whole time but at the end of the day i just hope we get the game i just hope we get it we all want it and um yeah man it's just something we really need we really fucking need this game man uh i need it i know a lot of youtubers need it and um it's just it's something because like i said xenoverse is one of my favorite friend series throughout the dragon ball z uh games but not my favorite it's just one of the games that actually it is one of my favorites but i just want it to like you know go on and do even more better so i think xenoverse 3 will be that final like you know because and they have to they can't just end it off of xenoverse 2 they gotta end it off of xenoverse 3 in my opinion i think that'll be the best and then move on to something new but you know hopefully we get it around 2021 an announcement in late 2020 hopefully or maybe in the summer game fest you really don't know we just need a xenoverse 3 guys that I, I predicting i'm predicting it the game's gonna come out 2021 that's my release time prediction as it is in my in the announcement i would say it has to be uh late 2020 maybe even an october announcement or possibly an announcement f from bandai from summer game fest you never really know guys but um yeah and uh that's gonna be ending off the video guys i hope you guys did enjoy uh this video took a long time to make and uh yeah all right guys i hope you guys did enjoy this video this video took me a long time to make it took me close to a week uh and this video is damn near an hour long i do apologize for it being so long guys again this is not my original equipment i use to record with or just to use and edit with i'm using all this and believe it or not all this is made in iMovie all this was made in iMovie. I don't listen my subscription for uh, uh, Premiere Pro. I've not renewed it for now. Uh, um, next time, guys, do not worry if I do a video like this. It is not going to be as long as it'll be a lot more better. Um, I do apologize. Uh, again, uh, it's just something I, I just really want to do. Uh, some of you guys might not be like, oh, this video is like, you, you won't really fuck with the video. It wasn't really the best. And it is what it is. I'm not going to really. I just loved it. You know, I gave it a try. And you know what? I thought it was good. I like my craft. It is what it is. Uh, but at the end of the day, I hope you guys did enjoy. Remember, guys, to like the video. This will help out a lot. It'll probably get a lot of people to watch the video. It'll probably get, you know, the eyes of Bandai. Some things you might uh, enjoy some things I said. But if you guys do have some stuff that you think will be better, do comment down down below. Also, guys, uh, if we can. And if you're new to the channel and you do like what you saw, please hit that subscribe button because, you guys, again, it does help my channel. It shows me you guys enjoy the videos and it just helps out. And we're trying to hit 200 subs by the end of the month. We're close. We're about 171 or 172. But at the end of the day, I hope you guys did enjoy. And I'll see you guys next time. Remember to hit the like button, guys, because it will help out a lot. And, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys thought, what you guys enjoyed most with the video and what you would want to see in Xenoverse 3. See you guys next time. Peace, guys.